Hey guys, Axer Tech here for another video tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new application that I uh, just started using called Puffin. It's an application on uh, iOS and also available on Google Play that allows you to uh, basically view flash based content on your tablet and mobile devices. Uh, so I'm going to be taking you through some of the features of this particular browser and just uh, demonstrating what it can do. So if we head to the iOS App Store here, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. If you type in Puffin, that's P-U-F-F-I-N, uh, it'll bring up this result. There's going to be two versions. You can see here there's going to be a free version and a paid version. The paid version is only $2, uh, but you can also try it for 14 days if you want with the free version. It gives you flash content for 14 days. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and open it up for you guys and show you what it can do. Alright guys, so this is Puffin Web Browser. This is going to be the main screen when you open the application. You can see that it's got a couple things. It's got bookmarks and most visited sites. So uh, when you browse websites, it's going to have your history listed on the main page. And all the bookmarks that you save are going to end up here as well. And you can actually press and hold on any of these bookmarks and move them around as you like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, what Puffin is all about, why I love this web browser. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with a um, really straightforward website, uh, one that you're actually on right now. Let's go to YouTube. So obviously, generally on uh, an iPad or an iOS device, if you go to YouTube.com, um, none of the Flash content is going to actually load. Now, there is a mobile version of YouTube that you can run on your iOS devices as well as Android, uh, but it doesn't really work the same way as it would on a desktop computer. So on my iPad here, if I wanted to go ahead and load a video, so we'll go ahead and find a quick random video. Okay guys, so you can see that I've got uh, one of my videos loaded up here. Now you notice at the very top, I've got something that says play in full screen. So what's interesting about this, if I click this little icon here, uh, it'll bring up and uh, remove the uh, the icon that allows you to play the video full screen. So this is something that I actually thought was really similar to another browser called Skyfire where it actually finds the flash content and renders it in the cloud. So this pretty much does the same thing except that this web browser actually loads all flash content. It also can load flash content uh, in the browser without um, having to separate the video from the page. So if you click on play here you can actually play the video on the web page without having to separate it, which is really cool. Now, um, if you're going to be playing videos a lot, if you're going to download this web browser to play flash-based videos, I would recommend that you use it in full screen. So if you click on the icon up there and you click on play full screen, then the video is actually going to load full screen and you get a blue bar at the top where you can actually scrub through. So if I want to, I can scrub through the video and you can play it just as if it was a quick time video so it actually works really really well for videos and of course you've got your pause button down here uh, but the other cool thing obviously is that it does support full flash so as you're browsing through different websites and I've got another one I'll load here for you guys so as you guys can see here I've got a web page loaded this is a flash only website so this page will not load any of this content unless the browser supports flash uh, in Puffin uh, you can actually load any website uh, with Flash or JavaScript or anything like that. Uh, so this is just kind of demonstrating that it does work and it actually works very, very well for the most part. Um, a couple other features that I thought I would mention uh, as you're browsing through different websites and as you get to use this, uh, there's a number of things that I really like. Number one, uh, I really like that they have um, a mouse. And I'm actually going to go back to YouTube and show you uh, some of the useful features with the, uh, the cursor that they have in Puffin. Okay, so I've just loaded up YouTube again here so that I can show you another feature uh, with the Puffin web browser. Uh, so if you look in the very bottom left hand corner, they've got a little cursor icon. And this is actually going to bring up a trackpad. Now if you hold the gray space where it says trackpad here, you can click and hold on that and you can drag this all around the screen wherever is most convenient so that you can uh, have that out of the way of your vision. The great thing about this feature is that it allows you to uh, basically select small text and small items on web pages that you really can't access with your fingers so, too well. 
So if I wanted to go into my uh, video manager, for instance, you know, I can click up here if I want. Uh, if I don't have my uh, my cursor up, I can click over here, but it's kind of not very accurate because my finger is too big to really efficiently click up here. Now, if I get my cursor in the bottom left-hand corner, I can move the cursor over to that small little arrow where it's actually on the uh, desktop YouTube page, and I can now tap in the cursor pad. And now it brings up all of my items here, and now I can move my cursor back over here. Now I can go and check my inbox on YouTube. And I can check my comments if I want to. And I can check my videos in my video manager. So I can just kind of, you know, any small panes of text that otherwise I wouldn't be able to really select with my finger. It just basically allows me to kind of scroll through these different uh these different menus and bring up things that I uh, that I want to you know take a look at. So that's one really neat feature uh, with Puffin, uh, along with the fact that it does support Flash. Okay, so another really cool feature about Puffin uh, is that the keyboard on Puffin actually supports some really cool features. Like if I go into my YouTube bar here, I can actually uh, type something in. You know, and if I want to, I can select all. There's a select all feature right here above the keyboard. Um, I can also click back in there, and if I want to, I can also copy all of that. I can cut the text, or I can also paste the text if I want to. Okay, guys, so another really awesome feature of uh, Puffin Web Browser is that it actually supports a gamepad. Now, I'm actually getting destroyed here because I haven't actually configured it yet, uh, but Puffin does support a full gamepad for uh, any games that you can run in your browser. So if you want, uh, if you open up the gamepad, which is in the bottom right hand corner, you've got an icon for it, uh, you can see that you've got a D-pad and you've got uh, four little buttons, very similar to what you'd find on an Xbox or a PS3 controller. Um, but the cool thing about this is even though by default it's going to set it as Escape, X, Space, and Enter, you can use the mapping key and select whatever you want. So uh, it actually gives me the controls here for this game. I can simply select on one of the items and I can actually select what I want that to represent. So by pressing that key, I can select what basically what letter that I would be pressing on a keyboard if I was using a computer. So I can go ahead and map these to whatever is on this game here. Okay, so as you guys can see here, I can actually uh, use the joypad here and actually control my character with uh, the on-screen controls, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't necessarily know that it's the uh, most solid for performance, but it definitely works, and I can uh, efficiently control this little guy here and use all the controls uh, and actually it works pretty well I don't really play flash uh, based games on my browser that much uh, but you can see that uh, I'm actually doing pretty well for a uh, for a flash game on an iPad so I'm actually pretty impressed and of course you can also uh, zoom in on the screen if you want you can just uh, pinch to zoom and zoom in on the screen so if you want to play flash games like games on miniclip.com or something like that uh, you can just uh, zoom in on the game and kind of scroll in as you play so that it's a little bit easier to see what's going on um, but anyways you guys can see this uh, this works actually really really well so um, you can check that out if you want to play try some games Okay, so as you guys can see, um, I'm not necessarily the best gamer, um, but I have to say that uh, combining all the features together between its cursor, uh, its full-featured keyboard, and its full-featured gamepad, I'd say that for about $2, Puffin is a really, really great buy. Uh, I really encourage you guys to check the app out. It's on the App Store and on Google Play. Um, and again, if you guys think that you're not sure you want to get the application, you guys are welcome to try the trial. It's uh, completely free and it gives you 14 days uh, of full feature access. So if you do like the application after those 14 days are up, you can buy the app on the App Store uh, or on Google Play. Um, let me know what you guys think about this video and let me know what you think about the application. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.